One of the biggest challenges we face when we want to work on a particular logo or image is that these images are not in vector format. This is where the Auto Trace feature comes in. With this feature, we can directly use any logo or image with a transparent background in PNG format without the need for a vector and apply impressive line effects on it, for example. For example, I've found a Gain logo online. This image is a PNG image, meaning it has a transparent background. The animation of the Gain platform is a bit similar to what we're going to do. My goal here, in this video, is to show that we can give the line effect not only to vectors, but also to PNG images. I'm creating a new composition in 1920x1080. It can be a 20-second composition or a 10-second composition. Let's make the background black. I click OK and drag the logo onto the composition. We can do this by pressing the S key to activate scale and do some size adjustments on it. First, let's make a backup of this logo. Control D is D for duplicate. I press this and the logo is duplicated. I remove the visibility of the bottom logo, so now only the top logo is selected. Then, under the layer menu, I select Auto Trace and a window like this pops up. The value we need to pay attention to here is the tolerance value. The higher the tolerance value, the fewer dots will be on the logo. But this will cause a problem. There will be distortions on the logo. You will see the distortion of the logo here. The lower this tolerance value, the more similar this trace feature will be to the logo. What we call trace means taking it out of the image and adding masks. Adjust this according to your own logo. Let's make sure that current frame is selected and click OK. Look, when I zoom in, we see that there are a lot of dots, but we have nothing to do with dots. After doing this, under the Effects menu under Generate, select the Stroke option. With this stroke effect, we can create line animations in a very simple way. Select All Masks. Here you can choose which color you want the line to be. We can choose white, we can choose red. We will edit the brush size in a moment. I'm going to change the hardness to 100 and I'm going to change the paint style to on transparent and this is how it looks right now. We're going to animate this in a moment, but let's do the details first. If the line looks thin to you, you can increase the brush size here. For example, I make it 4. This is how it looks like. I think it looks good like this. Now we can animate this. The feature we will animate is the end feature. The end property is currently showing at 100%. Showing at 100% means that all the lines are visible. If I make it 50%, some of the lines will appear. So when we animate this, it will look like a logo is forming from the line. I make it zero. There are no lines on the scene right now. I open the top logo, I open the effects section, and when I open the stroke value here, we will already see the same properties here. End value is here. Let's create a keyframe by clicking on the clock icon next to it and set it to 100% at the end of 2 seconds. Without doing anything, without editing anything, I'm just moving the timeline back to the beginning and let's see what the result is. We have achieved such a beautiful and practical result. You can also perform all the edits we just made after doing these operations. For example, if you want to change the brush size, that is, the thickness of the line, or if you want to change the color. You can also do this after this stage. I'm going to leave it like this, but let's make the animation look a little bit more beautiful. I select all two keyframes and click F9 on the keyboard. This shortcut will soften the animation a little bit. So, if you pay attention to the beginning and the end, it will start soft and end soft. Select the two keyframes again, open Graph Editor if you have it selected, right-click on it, and select Edit Speed Graph. Then we can play with the arrangement of these keyframes. This is how I get this image by shifting the points from the right and left, which usually gives a nice result. I close the graph editor again and play it from the beginning. See, it started slowly, sped up, and ended slowly. We watch it again. It starts slow, speeds up towards the middle, and slows down. You can adjust this via graph editor, Let's add one more small effect. I go to Effects and we need to find the CC Force Motion Blur effect. I find this and move it to the scene. 
The feature of this is, instead of a straight line, it does a little more smoothing on the lines, we can say that it makes the animation look a little more beautiful. If we look at it frame by frame, the smoothing here is actually what this effect provides. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can give a stroke effect to PNG images, but we can edit as we wish. I activate the logo at the bottom, I press the letter T on the keyboard, opacity opens, and our line animation was ending in our second second. I make it zero, give it keyframes, and set it to be 100% after the second second. Now let's look at our animation again, and towards the end, we see the logo itself. I can move these keyframes a little bit more to the beginning. I mean, I want the entire logo to be visible as soon as the line ends. If you remember, the lines were ending in the second second. I think it is good. Yes, in this video, I tried to show how to do some things with PNG images without vector images. I hope it was useful. See you in the next tutorial.